welcome to an overview of how atrial fibrillation is related to heart failure. First, you need to understand that about 20% of cardiac output is lost in AFib. And that's really, if you look at the EKG, you see that you lose your P waves from sinus rhythm to AFib. Now you have these fibrillatory waves, and that's where the atrial kick is really lost and where it comes from. So why does this happen? Well, the loss of the atrial kick accounts for about 20% of your cardiac output. So that's about 20% of blood that moves from the left atrium to the left ventricle that's lost. And you also have increased heart rate and a decreased LV filling time. So can this loss in cardiac output affect LV function? Yes, about 20% is lost from that atrial kick that should go into the left ventricle. One way to showcase this is look at this juggler. If I give him four balls to toss, then he's going to have four balls to move around, right? But if I only give him three and I take away one, then he's only going to have three to move. So the example of this with the left ventricle is that the left ventricle can really only move forward the blood that it receives from the left atrium. So if you take volume away, then it's going to lose volume of what it's supposed to provide to the body. If we draw this in our heart diagram, you'll see four arrows for blood coming from the left atrium. And those four arrows would go left ventricle out to the body. In comparison, if you only have three arrows, three go into the LV and out, so you're missing some. No matter how much blood comes into the left atrium, none of it's gonna get out. You might see, consequently, left atrial dilation, where the annulus dilates, the leaflets get separated, and that can lead to mitral regurge or tricuspid regurge if it's on the right side. In summary, an AFib's link to heart failure, some things that you are going to see include decreased atrial contraction, decreased LV filling, decreased cardiac output, and that reduction in atrial contraction really contributes to the increased volume retained in the atrium, increasing atrial dilation, which increases the risk of AV regurge, which are your mitral or tricuspid valves, and that reduction in cardiac output might be the cause of your fatigue symptoms. Thanks for watching.